Alright, so we are starting out today's video with a time lapse because it's about time that we decorate the uh, Giga Coaster that we built in the uh, last episode. Now, I didn't really know where to go with the theme at the beginning. Then I decided on some medieval theming while um, building a bit, a few stuff uh, or a few buildings off screen um, after I ended last episode. And I actually ended up building like a medieval tower next to the. Um, next to the coaster in the area there which you cannot see but it is to the right of the station from this view and i built a medieval tower and i figured why not just like go for a medieval theme on this coast as well because a lot of parks do that like not not an entirely medieval but a some prehistorical inspired theme where you get a sort of a fantasy vibe from the uh, area and i wanted that fantasy vibe to um to be uh, like transferred to this area and that is the inspiration for this coaster um, I went for uh, just some like gray colors and stuff like that because that is what in my opinion gives the most adventurous feel like castle inspired buildings shouldn't have all that much color and then actually going for somewhat of a cave here with an entrance in each end that will cover the boost section uh, the cave itself I'm actually really really pleased about and the building and stuff like that looks so good And I really feel like it matches well and hopefully you guys feel too when we are done um, I haven't really added all that much trees and stuff like that and I was uh, <laughs> Actually having a lot of trouble with money here So I just ended up taking a loan so that we can decorate it without being interrupted all of the time Because rocks and stuff like that are expensive when we aren't running any like um, no no money limit mods or anything like that we are just going for a as true to life as possible career and here i just started playing around a bit with different colored rocks because i don't want the the area to look all that too bold but just decided on painting the rocks when we are done um even though i kept that one rock in just a different color because it's an easy way of just getting some variety to the building if you just keep it all in the same color it would look it will look uh, too unrealistic like you, you need some sort of color variation not too much because the first rock that i put in actually was too dark and that just that makes it look fake so i i, I just at the end decided to paint some of the rocks just different colors and here adding some spires just to give just to give the building some um some additional layers of details uh which i really think it needed so um yeah, just rounding off the, the spires and that is pretty much it for the structure itself. Here I am just painting a few of the rocks in different colors just to give it some, uh, just to give it the, uh, the cave a additional layers really. And then just rounding it off here with some nature. Um, a, a really nice touch if you like our building with rocks and caves and stuff like that is to go ahead and throw some greenery in there because that will just make it stand out way more and not look as bold as it might do when you are trying to build a cave because the rocks in the game are actually so good but it's up to you to vary size and rotate and paint and stuff like that to make it look as realistic as it possibly can um, but yeah now just adding the final touches of nature and here i am going for Something that looks like a path, which actually, in my opinion, ended up looking really good. And by the way, that queue building there will be rebuilt later on. I don't do it in the time lapse because this ended up taking way too long. Like, I ended, spend, I ended up spending so much time trying to make this area look nice. So that is why I cut some of it and I will do the rest of the building off screen. But yeah, still just adding additional details. I really can't get enough of details on buildings and I'm not even good at doing details. So I'm actually really happy about how the building ended out. But moving on to the next area, I wanted to create like a nice um, rockway area where you really get to intersect with the theming when riding the coaster. So I thought what better place to do that than the helix. So we have a rock cave looking thing on either ends of the coaster that is really cool um, and here I wanted I wanted to create some sort of a tunnel that you have to go through just a just a small little one um, but a tunnel nevertheless just to get like sort of that head chopping effect 
which is um, really, really cool when riding coasters. And then I figured, why not have a small little river or a patch of water just going through there? That will look so good. And indeed, it ended up um, doing just that. Uh, really looking forward for you guys to see how it looks when it is finished. Um, but yeah, we, we, we got a bit of a way to go now still because like I just I just wanted this area to be complete. So there will be a ton of rocks, which you probably have seen from the uh, from the thumbnail already. And still just trying to mix it up with some trees and some greeneries, which in my opinion is really cool. Now, I don't know actually about the area just yet, because this doesn't really match the rest of the area. Um, and I also need to figure out how we connect this area to the rest of the park, because that is a big issue at the moment. Like, this coast is meant to be our main attraction, but not a lot of people actually get all the way down here, because the coast is located so far in the back of the park, which is a big issue. Um, so we have to figure out that. Like, one of the thoughts I had was a monorail or something, but I'm not really sure if the park is too small for that, or just a tiny railroad that could... Um, have an end station close to where we are actually building right now But what I'm trying to build here is sort of an overlook for the coaster so you can get up close and watch people scream and stuff like that I feel like a lot of people or not people parks. <laughs> I mean um, are missing that so I wanted I wanted to create that it's so cool to get up close to the coaster and and just just see it going like in live action and this is very very loosely inspired by Fantasia Land in Germany because uh, they actually have their coaster what's it, I don't even remember the name but they have a launch coaster as well I think it's a gas flower coaster not sure at all I'm not an expert in co on coasters in any way but they just have so many paths coming up closely to the ride so I wanted to sort of replicate that and the best way of doing so was just to build an overlook like that and then I gave it some roofs just to give some rain protection for our guests and I know that there are missing roof pieces every like there and there but it's intentional guys don't worry <laughs> you'll see how it looks once we are done um, because I wanted to integrate it into the rocks and have it look really authentic and stuff like that so and I actually think we did pretty good on that on just that so I am very, very happy about the end result of this um, overlook. And I also know that the coaster right now doesn't really, like, the colors doesn't really match the theme. <laughs> we are gonna, like, recolor the coaster, don't worry. Um, we will be doing just that. And then I'm not sure about the area just yet if I wanna use path covers or if I just wanna use the path that we are running right now. Because I actually feel like I like the look. And. I've beginning, I'm beginning to have second thoughts on all of the mods that we are using because Parkitect itself actually offers quite a good amount of, um, of buildings and things you can use uh, to decorate your park. So I think I'm actually might, I think I might be stepping down just a little bit from actually using mods. I'm not sure right now, but but in a, I, I feel like I, I will be using less and less. And then maybe at one point I will be removing them entirely. But yeah, just adding the final touches to all of the rocks down there. And that is the area pretty much done. And again, I am really, really happy about it. And just rounding off this time lapse with uh, a station building because we needed that as well. And the station building for me was actually really, really hard. I really didn't know what to go for. Um, I had so many ideas in my head. But at the same time, I didn't want the building to be too big and I wanted it to be a partially open station. My first thought was to create sort of a tower on top of the station that would look cool, but just just didn't feel, feel right um, when, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was building the station. So I actually went ahead and didn't do that and then went for a more of an open station, which turned out really good actually. I'm, I'm super excited about the result. So. So definitely, definitely happy about that one. Um, just a pretty generic building, but still, it, it matches the theme well, and the colors are doing good, and yeah, really happy about it. And instead of building a tower on the uh, on the station itself, I, I went ahead and built a tower on the entrance, sort of to mark that this is where Rush starts which I think we have to give a new name. If you guys have a new name for the coaster, let me know in the comments and I will surely have a look at it. 
But the time lapse is pretty much coming to an end here. Just adding the final details and once we are back, we will be building the tower and just repainting the coaster and all that stuff that I have talked about. So I will say farewell for now and then we will meet each other in game again. Well, what a <laughs> what a round that was. Um, I didn't really expect that to take quite as long as it did, but it felt like there was just so many big details that had to be built, and 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 we're still not done really. Um, we we could just start out by removing this structure that I've built over here off camera. By the way, I know the park might seem a bit off compared to when we last left it the last time, but. There have been some few changes, uh, some minor changes to it that I have not really covered. Um, so that is why hopefully you guys can catch up. If not, let me know in the comments and I will I will highlight it. Because I don't really know if we actually have the time to do so in this episode. We might just round off the entire park in in an upcoming episode. So you guys can see if you if you catched everything that has happened and stuff like that. But the, uh, the time lapse of the coaster... Uh, decorating the coaster just took so freaking long um, so that's basically why uh, we've ended up spending so much time trying to do this but right now I just uh, I want to build a little tower here that sort of tells us that this is where rush is located now I don't really know how we're gonna do this I think yep something like this maybe um, not even sure if this is just a tiny bit too small. Um, am I feeling this? Am I feeling this? I don't know. I guess this will work just for now at least. So let's go to roofs here and grab some flat roof. And the reason that I would actually changed up the theme a bit is because I felt like the theme that we had going before it was was too generic um, I just wanted a general theme for this area but at the same time I wanted this area to stand out as this coast is very freaking big so so I figured why not why not have it stand out just a bit um, I want to I want to do something with the roofs here but I'm not really sure what I want to do like I'm just trying things at the moment really but we could go for something like that possibly and then just let's see if can can we like build a square inside of this one with um or we could raise this one up just a bit higher than the other one so whilst this one is 650 this one will be seven maybe or a six 75 yeah that'll do good just to give it some variation and 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 a few layers of details really um, because I want I want I want a lot of details on this specific build now we still have some roofs there that we have to fix so if we grab something like if we go to roofs here once again then just plain roofs don't we have don't we have a half slope we should have a half slope somewhere. Maybe it's up here. Yep, it is. There it is. Um, good. And go for two again. And this one was something like yep, 650. Perfect. So I think, yep. This is just what I wanted. Perfect. Now to the borders once again. And this one maybe just maybe look a bit weird. I'm not sure yet. 650 boom there it is and fill this in all the way around something in the middle nope and then we need a flat cornice as well we need that all the way around too um but i think i was talking about the theme and basically what i wanted with the theme was i wanted it to be more of a uh, more of a fantasy world not like some heavily themed fantasy area but just give the coast a sort of a fantasy theme because I feel like that's a theme that's pretty easy to get around with just like many other themes so 
Um, yeah, that's why I I chose that one. Um, a park like uh, Forb Summerland in Denmark, where I live, uh, has a coaster called Luno, and Luno is themed in a pretty cozy, forestry-looking um, theme, which actually suits the coaster very well, and is a bit of like. You, you, you sort of get a feeling of being like in a fantasy world or something like that when you when you go to it so um, without it being too heavily themed now this one is yes heavier themed that the than um, than the coaster that I'm talking about Luna but but still I feel like this is doable for a an actual park if um, yeah, if they wanted to and then, we need we need more cornices here we, because we need like uh, let's just go for the bottom maybe and go for a slope yes there we go and then have some some struts here just to give it some structure so that the oh that is not good though so, because you can see them down there. Or actually, it might it might work once all get once we fill out the uh, all of them like this. Um, yep, that'll do for now. It looks good. Uh, then we just need some pillars for the roof to carry that one, and then this building is actually done as well. Now, where do we have pillars? I can never find <laughs> all of the things that I want to use for my builds. That is probably my biggest issue. Um, but there they are, and then just bring these up to high how high 6.02 I feel like that's okay oh and then we need we need something a bit bigger here let's go 6.25 and down to just there as long as it just like covers everything that it has to cover I feel like it's okay and all the way around there and up up and there we go just the same over here oh no I'm doing this wrong <laughs> up to six and six point five and a little bit higher okay good so we, we, we sort of got the tower going there and the reason that I actually wanted to go for this theme is because I have hit a um, a staff room in here and then I basically just wanted to cover up all of this area once I buy it with a forest um, just to make it look like a, a, a nice little area where you aren't supposed to go but it just looks uh, looks looks sort of cozy sort of creepy and will match very well with the theme over here once the coaster um, is fully seen but now I also want to change the color because this color does not match at all so if you go for something grayish on the uh, supports and then maybe go for for a dark green on the tracks here I feel like that's a pretty good idea uh, let's just copy this color right there and throw that one there and there good because this goes so well with the theme compared to the other one we could also make it black but I still want some color and it matches the trees way better um, but I think this pretty much covers this episode. Uh, it's been an episode all about the Giga Coaster, but I felt like that was needed because we left it in a very, very sorry state last time. We still haven't done anything about this building though. Uh, we could make it match this area a bit more. And then also I have themed our star-shaped coaster over here, which is now in a reddish theme. Um, we could have it match a bit more with the green coaster. I actually think we're going to do that. But I will do that off screen as well. And then I've just covered up the uh, staff area here. So overall this area is actually looking very, very good at the moment. We can actually check out the decoration rating right now. And as you can see, it is doing decently well. Uh, we got some litter over here, which we need to fix. Because we don't have any benches and we don't have any, like, um, uh, what are they called? Bins and stuff like that. So... And also, I fixed the elements. I've learned how to make them look way more smooth. So as you can see, both of them are fixed. <laughs> uh, which is a good thing. They don't look as rough as they did before. And then we may need a trans transfer track. I'm not sure about that, but we could do that. Oh, and the research team is just going. Let's just shut them off. Um, 
But yeah, this is uh, the current state of the park. We're doing pretty good in economy. We're doing pretty good in guests. So I don't think we have to worry too much about money right now. Let's just repay some of our loans here. But let me know in the comments what you think we should do the next time. One thing I thought about is connecting the entrance of the park to this side of the park, either with a train or a tiny monorail or something. Because... Like, this is the main attraction of the park, but it's way down here, and as you can see, not a lot of people are actually making it all the way to this area of the park. So, we need a way to fix that. So, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. But I think I'll round off the video here, because I'm gonna live stream in 40 minutes, so I gotta get prepared for that. So, thank you guys for tuning in, and until next time, have an awesome day. Bye.